This is first look at uh, FlashForge Adventure 5M Pro 3D printer. Actually, this is my second print. I'm using uh, Pelea that it came with and uh, original settings. Edge print 5 slicer. I'm not tuned or uh, nothing. It is uh, printed in uh, 0.2 layer height and uh, 0.4 nozzle and it took about uh, 35 minutes or something. Oh, it's really, really fast. Check this out. All these angles and so on. Usually it takes about two hours, a little bit more than two hours when you print, uh, when I print with normal printer. Oh, this is really, really fast. Now I'm printing some vase, but not in vase mode, because I want to have some uh, thicker walls. I just started. This printer I have uh, Filter, so you can. Uh, I show you. You can switch on them on on off. Wait, sorry. Yeah, like you see. When I using Pella, I use this. When you want to use uh, a base or something, you can use this. So I really recommend that you use external uh, filter when you printing Pela. I made uh, four uh, four layers in the bottom and two shells, two 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 walls. Of course, you can change a nozzle to 0 0.6, but I want to keep good quality, so I'm using 0 0.4 nozzle. All this printer is enclosed, like you see, so you can easily use a base or something. Not loud, not quiet. So absolutely you can use this printer at home or something. If you turn off all your filters, so it will be much more quiet. Of course you can open and don't use these filters, but yeah, it's up to you. To shoot down, then prints uh, will be done. It takes about five minutes or, or something. Your nozzle uh, and bed first must uh, cool down, and later printer shoot down completely. It came with all things you need, so you no need to buy nothing. Even they added some extra nozzle. And forget when you receive this print, printer lubricate all your access. I think this is uh, last uh, bottom layer, so we shall see speed. Really, really fast. And amazing quality for, for such a speed. Very friendly from for the beginners. You no need to do nothing. Even of course you can adjust your nozzle height and then so on when you printing. You go to the settings and and can change everything. And uh, they have very powerful uh, slicer. I don't. Know. I done so first layer. My heated bed raises up to 65 degrees and rest of the layers will be 55. And 
like I told, you can change a lot, even speed per layer and, and so on. It's extremely powerful slicer. Maybe first time you must play a little bit more with the settings and so on. So you can find all these settings. You can print in a vase motor, ironing, so you can get really nice surface and so on. Uh, tree support and, and much, much more. Like I told before, this is not very small. Zero infill and no top layers. Very clean this inch. Like you see inside, you not see no cables, nothing. Very, very nice made. All this, yeah, and closer and so on. For this printer, it's normal to print in high speed. Not like Bamboo Lab or Creality, they can print in high speed. This printer, it's normal. It's normal slicer settings, 300 millimeters per second. So it's recommended to print in high speed. It's uh, that that I think it makes this printer very 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 unique. It's made for high speed printing. Not only can print in high speed. Of course, you can use another slicers and like Orc or or Cura and print much much higher in 600 millimeters per second or something. But if you want to have really good quality. Like now, I think this is really good quality. Really good print. And it's 300 millimeters per second speed. It is normal for this printer. Seems like it's uh, zero artifacts. Very, very nice and clean print printer uh, have uh, built-in uh, cloud so you can print uh, online Flash cloud and polar cloud. So it's super easy to use. Leveling, of course, you can choose. Level. When you want to start to print, for example, you choose this file. So every each time you can level your bed before you printing, or you just start print without leveling so it's up to you and of course when you start print you can adjust nozzle height and, and so on that's my uh, thoughts about this printer it's uh, new for me but I really really like I getting very very good prints and uh, fast prints actually. Enjoy, subscribe and uh, more videos coming soon.